Five one four. The cannabis child protection act. Speaking for initiative five fourteen. Now collecting signatures for legalization that includes growing your own. Please welcome Don Skanky, everybody. Don Skanky. Come on, let's. Have Thank you. Yeah, how you doing? You want to legalize marijuana? Yeah. Me too. And I got to tell you, we have perfected the production and distribution system of cannabis over the last eighty years. We are now at the point where all we need to do is legitimize it. And unfortunately, I don't agree with the current vision that's going to be on the ballot in November, because in my mind, it takes it out of the hands of the people, you and I, and puts it in the hands of the government and big business. With no provision for home growing, I don't think that that 502 is legalization. So what we have is I-514. Whatever happens in November, Pass or fail, I guarantee you that reform will continue until we do achieve full-on legalization for the people of Washington State, America, and the world. I want you to be able to grow at home. I want you to be able to hand a big butt over the back fence like a, a zucchini to your neighbor. I want you to not have to travel miles and spend hours looking for Dave or a safe access point when you should be able to find it in your backyard. But if you don't want to grow, you should also have access. And that access should be at a reasonable rate and at a reasonable tax. And I don't want to give up the prohibition of, of the criminality of prohibition for the economic prohibition of high taxes. There's a lot of debate about what the taxes will mean. At current rates, I have projected that a $10 gram will now cost $43.11 after you tax it 25% at the grower, another 25% at the, at the uh, processor, and another 25% at the end distribution point, plus 10% tax. We can grow this in our yards if we want to, but 502 keeps that a crime. We are not criminals. We are growing a beneficial plant. Not only is it beneficial for our health, it's beneficial for our economy. When we can stop spending these huge <laughs> amounts of money on cannabis or giving huge amounts of money to our state and big business for cannabis in the future, we can put that money to work in our economy. I don't know about you, but I got a dollar daughter in school. I got educational loans for her I'd like to pay off. I'm 53, I'd like to retire. I'd like to put some money away for retirement. I got a few bills to pay because the economy hasn't been so great. I want to put money on that. And when you do that, when you don't pay that money to taxes to have it go down some hole, and you start putting your friends and neighbors to work because you are spending money in the local economy, that is legalization. That is the benefit of Canada. Thank you, so what we have. We're removing penalties for adults. You cannot create a law that conflicts with federal law. The federal law supersedes it. We remove penalties. There is no conflict. We remove penalties for adults, and we remove felonies for people under 21. We make it a $250 infraction. For the first time, somebody under 21 is arrested for cannabis. Because again, as a parent, I gotta tell you, I've been in the system, I've been through the system, and I've had my kids have contact with the system. And when you get in that system and they start charging you bail and start charging you for drug classes and everything else, suddenly I'm not a parent that's present anymore. I'm working two jobs to pay the state. And that's wrong. If I don't know if my kids are involved with cannabis, a $250 slap on the head will set me straight and let me know to do whatever I can or guide them appropriately. And the other thing is, the next time they get involved, it's a misdemeanor. If they get involved again, it's a gross misdemeanor. But at no time are we graduating our youth into adulthood with felonies for cannabis on their record. Legalized marijuana is our goal. That's what we all want to do. I need you to sign this petition where our booth is right back here behind uh, the stage. I'm sure you've seen other people out, out in the world with them. But beyond that, there are people here today 
There are people that are not here today. And we have a short four signature sheet. This is an approved petition by the uh, elections office. It's got the full text of the initiative on the back as required by law. It's got space for four signatures, so you can just grab a sheet, sign it, have your, your guy or your girl sign it, another couple sign it. It folds up, you stick a stamp on it, and you mail it in. For 50 cents, you are a cannabis reform activist, legalizing marijuana in Washington State for adults, and guiding appropriate penalties for our youth. Sign I-514. Get it out in front of the legislature in January. If they don't just see the good in it and pass it, we'll vote on it next November. And if you're voting on 502 this fall, don't listen to me. Don't listen to Allison Holcomb. Don't listen to anybody in the world for or against 502. You read it yourself. It's 68 pages long. But it could represent the future of cannabis in this country, in this state, and I want you to know what you're voting on. The liquor store thing ended up with a 30% tax that nobody saw. Know what you're voting on. Seattle, you guys all rock. See us at the booth, sign I-514, and know what you're voting on in November. Register to vote. Thank you. Woo! Register to vote.